Hey everyone, this is Mike with Confused IT. I just wanted to make a really quick video on how to uh, remove or I guess destroy vCenter HA uh, configuration. So there's two ways of doing this that I know of. Uh, one of them is through the UI, which I'm gonna cover here. The second way uh, is going to be linked in the video somewhere. I'll have a link to our uh, knowledge base that has instructions here, uh, which also links to the VMware website for reference. Um, the second way is also pretty easy, but uh, it's a little more destructive. You have to delete both the passive witness nodes, SSH into the, uh, the, the active node, and then run a command uh, in the shell to, I guess, remove that configuration or tell that active node that it's no longer in HA, and then reboot it, and it'll come back as a standalone instance. So the easy way, the main way I'm going to cover now, which is just to go into your vCenter, go over to configure, go over to vCenter HA. Uh, I'm going to hit edit. Um, you can remove it now, but I like to put it in disabled mode first, just disable the HA. Wait for that to update. Let's see. All right, so that's updated. No longer in HA. Um, or HA is no longer active, I should say. And I'm going to hit remove here, remove vCenter HA. I'm going to delete the witness and the passive nodes. Give it a second. Those are them. And then I'm going to hit OK. And this should bring us back to the uh, setup HA screen in a second here. Well, that's running. There's instructions on VMware's website for this. Um, pretty straightforward. It explains how to do it through the UI. They don't explain here how to do it through the, the shell. There is another article that uh, is right here, very straightforward, um, which is under recovering from isolated vCenter HA nodes, which has that same command I mentioned earlier where you could just destroy the, the vCHA um, and it'll get rid of the configuration once you reboot. Um, this is also available in our knowledge base, which I'm going to add the uh, information on method one right here. Um, once this video is over and, and published, it'll be on our knowledge base. All right, looks like that finished. So yeah, we're back on the setup vCenter HA screen. Um, the active is the only node left, uh, the witness and passive and deleted, and we're no longer in HA. So that's uh, the end of this video. I'm going to make another video shortly on how to set up vCenter HA. Um, and then I'll also do one on how to take a backup of vCenter HA and also how to, uh, sorry, how to take a backup of vCenter and how to update vCenter um, on a sort of a, I guess, a vCenter series here. So hope this video is helpful and I'll see you next one. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Our website has some resources that you might find useful as well. Confused IT is a non-for-profit organization ran by IT professionals. Our mission is to make IT knowledge more accessible and easier to digest. Thanks for watching.